Hi and welcome to the Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Nottingham. A youthful city with two universities, Nottingham is known around the world for the Robin Hood legend. The big hitting monument in the city is Wallatton Hall, a stupendous 16th century Elizabethan house. While Nottingham Castle, the source of the Robin Hood tales, is atop a sandstone ridge burrowed with caves. For centuries, Nottingham was associated with its lace-making and bicycle trades, and you can uncover this past at the Industrial Museum, also at Walletton Hall. Let's get started! 10. Walletton Hall This marvelous Tudor house created a big stir when it was built in the 1580s. Commissioned by Sir Francis Willoughby, Walletton Hall was a prodigy house in a bold Elizabethan slash Jacobean style influencing English architecture for the decades that followed. The house is composed of Ancaster stone, limestone quarried in Lincolnshire, and its exterior is carved with exuberant strapwork and ornamentation. The house is on a natural rise not far west of Nottingham and is wrapped in 500 acres of parkland, roamed by deer, and with an industrial museum in the stables and outbuildings. 9. Nottingham Castle once spoken of in the same terms as the Tower of London and Windsor Castle, Nottingham Castle looks over the city from its high sandstone crag known as Castle Rock. As with many strongholds in England, the castle was torn down in the wake of the English Civil War to prevent it being reused. Afterwards, Henry Cavendish, the second Duke of Newcastle, built the Baroque Ducal Mansion on the remains, and in 1878, the Nottingham Castle Museum opened in this building. In the collection are pieces of Wedgwood, Jasperware pottery, watercolors by Paul Sandby and Richard Bonington, and Nottingham alabaster carvings going back to the 15th century. 8. Old Market Square Nottingham has the largest remaining market square in the UK, almost 5.5 acres in size and still a congregating point for the city. Given its integral role, the square is at the very center of Nottingham, and has one of the city's main landmarks on its eastern boundary. The Neo-Baroque Council House dates to 1929 and has a striking 61-meter dome above its portico. In the Middle Ages, the Old Market Square was the midway point between the Norman settlement of Nottingham and the older Anglo-Saxon town around the Lace Market area, where you'll find St. Mary's Church, which we'll talk about below. 7. Ye Old Trip to Jerusalem Built into the castle's sandstone crag, Ye Old Trip to Jerusalem is a pub believed to have been founded in 1189. This would make it the oldest public house in England, but unfortunately, there's no documentation to back up the claim. What can't be denied is that the pub is exceptionally old and has a character all of its own for its passages and caves cut from the sandstone. Hidden in these cellars is a pit used for cockfighting, along with cells that are claimed to have belonged to the castle goal. The pub's unusual name comes from the notion that Richard the Lionheart, 1157 to 1199, and his men stop here on their way to Third Crusade. 6. Highfields Park Just south of the campus for the University of Nottingham, Highfields Park is a 121-acre green space that has just been spruced up in 2018. Up to 1920, this all belonged to the Highfields estate, but was bought for the university in 1920 by the founder of the famous English high street chain Boots. The loveliest part of the Highfields is the esplanade beside the Bodie Lake, with a balustrade and view across to the university's Trent Building. Just here are two stone lions that were presented to the university by the city of Ningbo, China. Just behind is a flower garden covered with pergolas and planted with azaleas. 5. Green's Windmill The father of George Green, one of 19th century England's most noted mathematical physicists, built this windmill in Nottingham Snyton suburb in 1807. After the elder Green passed away, George Green was in charge of the mill until he died in 1841. The mill was almost lost to a fire in 1947 but was restored to working condition by Nottingham City Council in the 1980s, and from some distance around Nottingham, you can see its huge white sails turning. Families come down Wednesday to Sunday to check out the functioning grinding mechanism at hoists, and to visit the Hands-On Science Center in honor of George Green. 
shining a light on magnetism, electricity, and the visible spectrum. 4. St. Mary's Church There has been a church at this plot in the Lace Market area since the Saxon times. Today's grade I listed building was constructed across the 14th and 15th centuries and is the largest medieval monument in Nottingham. In the perpendicular Gothic style, the oldest section of the church is the south wall of the nave, going back to 1370. From around this time is the oldest door in Nottingham, leading to the former chantry room, now a toilet for wheelchair users. The door has its original 14th century locking mechanism and has survived for so long because the room has rarely been used. The stained glass windows were produced by some of Victorian England's leading glassmakers, while the imposing bronze doors on the south porch are from 1904 and depict the life of our Lord in the tympanum and on the door's 20 panels. 3. Nottingham Industrial Museum On weekends, you can catch up on Nottingham's long industrial history at this museum in the stables at Walletton Hall. There are pieces from the local textile trade, which have been around since the invention of the stocking frame, producing stocking hoses from the end of the 16th century. You can view a handful of these machines, as well as a bobbinet, knitting machine from 1910, and levers and barman lace-making machines from Nottingham's once-thriving lace industry. Nottingham is also synonymous with rally bicycles, and there's a range of models, as well as the personal bicycle owned by Thomas Humber the inventor of the early alternative to high-wheel bikes, the safety bicycle. 2. Stonebridge City Farm Close to the center of the city in Nottingham's St. Anne's area is a place where youngsters can come into contact with domestic animals like rare breed pigs, cows, sheep, goats, ducks, donkeys, and Shetland ponies. This space was a former slum, cleared in the middle of the 20th century to make way for a school that was never built. The attraction has animal handling sessions where children can pet and handle smaller creatures like guinea pigs and rabbits, while you can also buy animal feed from the shop for the larger animals. 1. Newstead Abbey If you need some inspiration for a day out, the ancestral home of the poet Lord Byron is 10 miles north of Nottingham. The 12th century Augustinian Abbey was dissolved during the Reformation in the 16th century and turned into a country house right after. The estate was inherited by Lord Byron at the end of the 18th century, and he would live here on and off before selling it in 1818. The Gothic facade of the Abbey Church is adjoined to the Tudor style house, which has been preserved as it was in the 19th century, showing off the poet's private apartments and a variety of memorabilia. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.